Now these remaining starters are based upon how they drew for qualifying on Friday, which was rained out. And you heard of the luck of the draw? Well, this was the absolute luck of the draw. Robbie Gordon next to last, and Todd Bonine, the last guy to make it in. Five guys had to go home. There are some regulars that are not uh, happy at all about the way these final starters were chosen. Boris said, who was the fastest in practice, will not make the race. Scott Pruitt, a regular in the series. Brett Bodine, also a regular in the series. Both of those teams had to go home. Take a look at who's out of here. Who didn't make it in the field? Some names like Morgan Shepard. Man, does he run well here. Won the Winston Cup race here a year ago. Kenny Schrader. Andy Hillenberg has run some, had some good runs in bush racing. Tommy Houston stayed home. Now, Tommy had run 360 consecutive bush series events, had never missed one in 13 years, did not have a sponsor, missed the race at Richmond, and did not come to Atlanta. You see the long list there, including Mark Martin. The trucks that had to go home because of not being able to attempt qualifying, Clay Rogers, Frank Wilson Jr., Bobby Yeast, Johnny Sauter, a big name that wasn't able to make this field, Michael Falk, and Casey Kingsway. Really too bad for Johnny Sauter. Had such a great truck here last year. Finished second to Chad Chapman. Unfortunately, because of the rain out in qualifying, will not be able to start this race. And Ken, there were some good names that failed to qualify for this race. You can see them there. Tommy Houston, who started more of these races than anyone else, and Buck Chuck Jones, who has a win so far this year. And Dennis Setcher also has a couple of wins in the past. And not in the field. That's a third of this field that didn't do much racing at Daytona. In addition, the pole sitter at Daytona, David Green, didn't even make this race. Here are the drivers going home after the long trip to Sonoma. A lot of our regular boys there, and look at Scott Riggs. That's the second DNQ that he's had here in 2007. Boy, there's a long list. The Wood Brothers have been in all but two Daytona 500s. Ken Schrader has started 23 consecutive Daytona 500s, every one since 1985, but he won't make this one. And two, some of the big names. Look at Benson and Little, contenders for the Bush Grand National title. Neither of them made it here today. Benson broke an axle in his qualifying run. And now, Mark, let's take a look at the drivers who did not make the race. Tommy Ellis has not failed to make a race since he started his career in 1970. He will not be in the race today. Jack Ingram, he's only missed two races in his whole NASCAR career. Make that now number three.